Hello, this is Reza from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can reference a query from another query using Dataflow, uh, but with no premium account, with just a Power BI Platform Dataflow. Let's see how it works. Power BI or in Power Query, you can get a query referenced from another query, which is helpful for a lot of scenarios. I have explained about it in another blog article. Uh, let's say, for example, I have a Power BI data flows here. Uh, Power BI data flow is a Power Query process run independent, independent from a Power BI report or data set in the cloud. And in this um, Power BI data flow, I have uh, a query. Uh, if I reference from this query, this will create a copy from the other query and continue from that query. In Power BI data flows process, we call this referenced query, if the original one is enabled load, we call this new referenced query a computed entity. And you can see this has this little lightning icon. Um, if I zoom in, you see this little lightning icon that shows it is a computed entity. And here you can see that this is a computed entity. Now, computed entity is a premium function in Power BI. If you have Power BI premium license, then perfect, you can use it with no problem. But if you don't have a premium license, just getting premium feature for this might be a little bit uh, hard if you uh, don't have premium license, but still want to use this feature. Uh, there is another way. I'm going to explain it to you. One way, which I explained in my other article, is to when you reference from the other query, disable it to load or duplicate it instead of reference. But these are not solutions. These are more workarounds. As a solution, I would suggest this. I would suggest to do it using Power Platform data flows. Power Platform data flows. You can go to those uh, and build those through Power Apps Portal or Power Platform Portal. Under Power Apps Portal, under Data, you can create a data flows and um, put a name for it, connect to any data sources you want. Uh, again, I have explained in my other blog and video how to create a data flow, uh, Power Platform data flow. Uh, here, I already have a data flow. Let me just go and edit that data flow. And in this data flow, you see I have a number of uh, queries. When I reference uh, from one of these queries, when I right click and reference from these queries, as you see product is already enabled load, but still referencing, referencing from this won't create a computer entity. It would create just like a normal entity. Uh, I can call this one products grouped. And I can apply a group by just to show you that this is a separate uh, query with a different transformation, I just apply a transformation, right? So this is my uh, product group query, which is enabled load, it is loading, and products itself, which is also enabled load. Now, when I go to the next step, it won't create a computed entity. I can easily load this into an existing entity. I can go and select an existing entity, or I can create a new entity. I can say this is the name field, this is uh, the key field and everything like that and click on next and do the refresh configuration, right? So very simply, you can have um, one query referencing another query using Power Platform data flows. Of course, you need to have a Power Platform license or let's say Power App license for that, but you can get Power Apps licenses cheaper than Power BI Premium. If you have Power BI Premium license, then perfect, you go ahead and use it in Power BI. If you don't have it, Power Platform data flows can be a good candidate. And then in Power BI Desktop, you can use get data from Power Platform data flows or get data from Common Data Services because um, Power Platform data flows write uh, data or write the result into common data services. Um, so here, if I have a Power BI desktop, I can say get data um, under more. There's a section under Power Platform, which you can either select um, 
you can either select Power Platform Data Flows or Common Data Services. They both would be able to get data from the result of that Power Platform Data Flow, and you can use the result of that. Um, here you go, that's the solution. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.